All right. So what is up Twitch viewers and those on YouTube, we're going to be making a salt box video today coming at you where we're going to be talking about the god of Warframe, Chroma himself. Uh, it's pretty common knowledge that you want to go ice into fire maybe and then everything else, the, the, everything else just doesn't matter. But how overpowered could this guy actually be? Well let me show you, I'm going to show you a simple build that you can use. Now I'm in the middle actually of leveling my chroma up. So I have him to rank 30 right now with one forma in it. And we used our first uh, forma to pull to change the polarity of our aura slot. So what we're gonna do now is forma him again and change the polarity of one of these two slots. So we get, get the right slots going there so we can fit another mod in which is going to be our power drift up here but what is our build exactly so we start with rejuvenation which gives us a plus three heal rate it's pretty decent especially if you're on low levels literally you won't have to even worry about healing we're going to go with our flow prime flow if you have it we have our blind rage which gives us the strength and the efficiency we also have our intensify which gives us ability strength so we're going to really stress ability strength on this build because it's going to be centered all around that vex armor the stronger that vex armor is the more armor you actually get the more damage your weapon gets the more you become a god we're also going to bring in our continuity because that gives our Vex armor a longer period of time that it can be up as well as our elemental ward that we can share between us and our also fellow Tenno clan mates. We have our narrow minded again stressing that ability duration for that Vex armor. We have our rage that way every time somebody thinks they can smack us we're like psych you thought and we get energy back that we can use and then our basic survivability mods vitality and steel fiber so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and actually throw another forma on this and we're gonna forma we'll go ahead and forma this vitality slot into a into that so we can perfect so we have our flow our blind rage and our narrow minded so what we're actually going to do for right now while we're leveling we're going to take off the blind rage and we're going to throw in our where did it go where did it go where did it go um there we go our intensify so we're going to put that in right now and then we're also going to put our vitality down here for right now perfection all right cool so again, we're going to be working all around this Vex armor. So that's our third ability. When shields are hit, Chroma's armor grows stronger. When health takes a hit, weapon damage increases. So we're really going to be focusing in on that. As our weapon, I'm, we can either use the Nakana Prime, or I also like to use the Hirudo. Um, either one is really good. Uh, you run a good crit build on them. If you're using the Hirudo, you don't have to worry about lifesteal. If you're running the Nakana, then I would put one life strike on there. Um, I have it ranked at level 2 right now because that channeling efficiency loss is, oof, it hurts. Um, but that helps us then whenever we crit, um, then we're going to get 15% of that back. So basically with this build, you just tap, tap your button to channel. For me, I'm playing on PlayStation, so it's L1. And you pretty much get all your health back, but you'll see that when we start. So I'm running Blind Justice, Blood Rush, because it gives us an additional crit uh, chance when our combos are going up, which is going to be the focus of the weapon itself. We're going to be looking at Body Count, which extends our combo duration by 12 seconds, which is going to be absolutely huge. As I mentioned, we have that Life Strike for the Life Steal. We have Organ Shatter, which increases the amount of critical damage we do, in this case by 90%. We're going to run with Pressure Point, which is just a good overall melee damage mod. We have Berserker, which we're going to be giving a few more points into a little bit later, which increases our attack speed maximum by 75% for 12 seconds on critical hits. And since we are building critical hits on this weapon, our attack speed is going to be really stupid. We're going to run with, then after that, we're going to run with our elemental combination, depending on whatever it is we're, we're going to be fighting. So since we're going up against mostly Grenier for the first we're gonna be running with Molten Impact to give us that uh... 
yeah give us that radiation all right excellent so you can do that this uh, also works very well in the war the one thing to keep in mind though is because we're not running fury at the beginning it's going to feel a little slow when you first start but as your combo meter starts really building up on it you're going to see that attack speed just start skyrocketing and then all of a sudden out of nowhere you're just going to be one shotting everything it's going to be beautiful so let's get right into it start our leveling process we're going to head over here to saturn go over to helling we're just gonna get in there and we're just gonna start leveling it. I believe uh, Chroma gets his Vex armor at level 5. So once we get that, then we will officially be unkillable and we'll pretty much be able to move on to some harder material here. So, two seconds, we're gonna form in. <clears throat> and this works really well with uh, pretty much anything that you can run crit weapons when they have a crit chance of 20%. So, you can run this build for the Harudos. I substitute the life strike for our another one other mod that ups our critical chance. So it's up to you, whatever you really want to want to run on that for that substitute or mod. But because of the Harudos being the type of weapon where every time you critically strike, you get life steal back, you don't even have to worry about channeling on that weapon. You just sit there and just beat your eyes out and you're hardly ever losing strength especially on a level like this this is level 25 enemies you're not even gonna have to worry about it hardly at all so this will be our second forma the first forma we put in to change the polarity of our of our aura slot the second polarity we put in the, the just now which is the one that is going to be changing for our vitality mod if we have to put another one in to get our if we have to put another one in to get our steel fiber in, then that's where we're going to be putting it is with our steel fiber. So we're just going to use our ability a little bit here, tag these guys, tag these guys up so we can get the experience going on these guys, watching them fall. We're just going to melee our way around here. As you can see, the combo multiplier is already building. I'm at a 1.5 multiplier, and you can see the attack speed is just going up and up. I'm really one I'm really trying to stand in the middle of the crowd so I can show you guys just how awesome this build is because one of the weaknesses with Chroma is yeah he can get his armor up to with the right build up to nearly 98% damage mitigation. The problem is he doesn't have any life steal, which is why we're running our crit Nakana build with with the life strike on there. Or you can run the Harudos, because that takes care of the actual of the actual life stealing itself. So that way, you pretty much have a straight god build without having to, you know, spam a bunch of energy all the time. Um, at high ranks, our Vex armor is going to be 75%. We're already at level 2. Awesome. It's going to be about 75, not percent, excuse me, 75 energy to use. So with Prime Flow, we're really not going to have to worry about running out of energy too much. Uh, okay, so see, there goes our energy. Well, fortunately, my carrier has... As <laughs> the mod where it automatically destroys my shield. So we're just gonna go ahead, tag these guys up. We're at a 2x multiplier. And like I said, we're that really running that body count really helps with the combo multiplier because usually it falls off as soon as you stop attacking if you're not modded out. So with the body multiplier, it extends it for an additional 12 seconds. So you can keep that speed going with the berserker, you can keep the the damage going with the crit multiplier it just makes makes melee weapons especially crit builds like this really good and really proficient I'm probably gonna lose my multiplier here if something doesn't come up soon ah oh, here we go see look at that the, the wave started stopped and started and I still have my multiplier well I had my multiplier but because I totally whiffed it because I'm a bum so elemental ward Let's check this out. So what exactly does Elemental Ward do? Because I didn't really talk about that too much. So let's look at this while we're in the middle of fighting because that's always a great idea. So depending on Chroma's Elemental Alignment, an offensive area effect, area of effect is created. Chroma and his nearby allies are imbued with defensive energies. So when we use this near our allies, you might not see it necessarily on yourself, but when you're near an ally, you can actually see see the amount you're getting so right now you can see that he's getting 33% of a defensive buff towards his armor 
and this is specifically for an ice build so you know that you're actually getting that yourself it can be a little confusing sometimes because I know when I first started playing Chrome I was I was using Elemental Ward and I was asking a friend hey you know what's going on with this why can't I why can't I see anything going on with it but yeah it's the way to tell what's going on is if you're actually standing near near an ally so we're just gonna go ahead and tag those guys up look at all this energy using the round we're so efficient right now we can't even pick it up this is a absolutely beautiful thing so we're gonna go over here pop our elemental ward we're gonna try and use our abilities as much as we can just because the more we use our abilities, the more experience we're going to get towards our actual Warframe itself. That's also the reason why we're only running the Nikana Prime. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm actually not uh, using a weapon, an equipped weapon with my carrier. Because the more it hits, the more experience it goes to. So the experience is shared between all the weapons and equipment you have for your Warframe. So we're going to try and minimize that. That way the, we get the most points we can towards our actual Warframe, which, you know, is what we're considering here. Look at this. We're already four. Pretty soon we'll have our Vex armor. And we will be completely unstoppable. This is an excellent place, Helen, on Saturn. To get some farming in. Usually I would farm my frames here pretty much until... 30 you've probably if you've watched the stream when I'm playing you've probably seen me actually farming that way um, but because of the way chroma is built and because of all the damage mitigation we can actually skip 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 past this once we get our vex armor and go to a much harder area so we're gonna see we're gonna take our way to Uranus and we're going to go into an infested survival mission which will Give us the chance to have more enemies charging at us, give us the chance to use our abilities more, give us a chance to get hit more, which will in turn give us more levels. So, we're not even waiting for our ult. That's another thing. With this build, your ult is 100% absolutely non-existent. You do not care about your ult one bit. If you are using your ult with this build, you are doing something clearly clearly wrong the alt the alt the effigy uses so much energy pretty wrong so much energy and it's just the alt not not really worth it to use because we're not throwing really any efficiency in this build whatsoever so it'll just sit there and sap your energy like crazy so almost there see i'm already trying to spam my <laughs> vex armor and i don't even have it yet Depending on the level of your mods, you can either do this as what seems to be a three form of build. And as you level your mods up even higher, or you want to put more points into your mods, you can uh, throw another form in here. If you want to max out all the mods. Extraction is ready. So we're going to extract. So if you want to level up all your mods to the absolute max, which, you know, is what people are trying to do, then you might have to go in all the way to a five form of build on this pretty much for the same setup that you saw at the beginning of the stream um, plus that power drift mod that you're going to be putting in the Exilus slot so right now we're level seven uh, you don't really get too many points in between levels too much the big point spikes when you can put more in see I have five right now I think that's two more than what I had at the beginning the big point spikes are going to be every ten levels though so once you hit level 10, level 20, level 30, then you're going to see a big boost of points that you can use for your capacity for mods, so that'll be when we'll throw another mod in. So yeah, we put a one mod slot there, we put one format in there to adjust that mod slot, we're good on our prime flow, we're good on our intensify. Um, I might actually throw the mod slot, I might throw... If I have to throw another four in, throw it in there, and then put my narrow minded in right now because narrow minded is a pretty big mod in terms of capacity. So we are level seven now. We have our Vex armor. So we're going to move on to the next spot for our, our grind, which is going to be here in Uranus. And you're going to go to Azure. It's the only place, only place on this godforsaken planet that doesn't require an arc wing. 
me personally, I'm not a big fan of the Arcwing missions. I love the way they look. They feel a very Star Wars-esque in a sense. But overall, the control of it is a little bit of a pain. So we're going to go ahead and go in here. This is a level 25 to 35 survival with Infested. So ordinarily, for your weapons, you would want to change to from shocking from that molten core into the fever strike so you get that corrosive but in this case i just really don't care because you know you're running as god chroma who really cares you want to get swarmed it'll increase your multiplier you'll see you just want to find yourself a good spot here we are we come in and we'll already see a bunch of enemies here all right cool so you're just going to pop that vex armor Right now, it's only 12 seconds, so you're going to be popping it a bit, but that's alright. The purpose of the Vex armor, as you can see, we're already at 75. We're getting that Fury going. We're at the 2x multiplier already. We're just blazing through. You can use it in between. Get 30 kills. I'm already at 21. I just popped in maybe 15, 20 seconds ago. It's a perfect place to go for farming. As long as you have the survivability to match it going in so you see oh get the health get hit in the health and here we go there's our 30 kills we just keep going we're at 42 at the moment i should also uh clarify that the multiplier doesn't necessarily work on kills but it works on strikes so sometimes you might get the stalker in your mission and you start going in on the stalker with your melee weapon and you'll see that multiplier start building if, if you don't have a weapon that can one shot him so you'll see the strike start building oh this is beautiful we are level 7 coming in here against level 27 enemies and we don't even feel it we're gonna throw up our dex armor and also our elemental ward Clearly, we have a Necros in here, so we don't have to worry about health, yeah. Another life support capsule is now available. So we don't even have to worry about health this time around. Ordinarily, if we start getting a little bit lower in health, what you do is you just sit here. You'll channel your next couple attacks. And two two to three attacks, and you'll be back to full health, even if you have, let's say, 100 health. It's that, this build is that ridiculous. You can just keep going 20 minutes, 30 minutes, especially once you get more towards level 20, you'll be able to do 30 to 40 minutes of this with no problem whatsoever. Uh, the next set of arm, the next set of mod that I want to put on this it might surprise you a little bit because I have the vitality on there right now, but the next mod I'm going to put on here is, you know, in the building up to where we originally wanted to be is going to be a continuity. To extend the duration of that Vex armor even longer. We have some ability strength on here already, so we're getting pretty decent with that. Let's see if we can find another horde here. Life Everybody's kind of crowded activated. up over there. Oh, let's go check it out. They might know something we don't. So the only thing that sucks is it sucks about this melee build is that you know you get all these buffs and everything, but if you don't attack anything for a while. As you can imagine, then the multiplier falls off and you kind of have to start from zero. The good thing though is with the Nakana, it's a relatively fast weapon, so it's easy, uh, fast weapon by default, so it'll be easy to get these multipliers back up once you start finding a good horde of enemies again. Also to note with my Nakana, I'm using the Nakana Prime specifically. Um, it'll work with the Nakana and also the third the third style of Nakana as well. Um, oh, apparently they want to leave. Well, let's see. Well, maybe not. Maybe they just found the point. Is that there's no formas in this. So this is a zero forma build on the Nakana Prime. That you saw earlier in the stream. In the video. So you can always just rewind that. Check it out if you want to. Ooh, that guy was just... I'm a fan of the black ice. Feels more dangerous. <laughs> Life support on the way. 
Life support is on the way. That's good. So we're just gonna try and find a horde. There's one there. I don't really care. We wanna find we wanna find a horde of these suckers. We wanna get absolutely mobbed. Look at this, not even paying attention. We're already at the 1.5 multiplier, because we keep finding one enemy here, one enemy there. Just keeps our multiplier going, our combo link going. Remember with the mod maxed out as it is, the body count, you get an additional 12 seconds. So that's that's pretty huge. Oh, and two people got me the point, so I guess we're leaving at eight minutes. Ho hum. It looks like we're not gonna be getting too much out of this. He stepped off. See if we can get as much as we can in the next 10 seconds. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, the, with the Vex armor, the more you get hit, the more powerful you become. As your shield gets hit, your armor becomes bigger. So, you know, you can vary your playstyle a little bit more. Uh, as your health gets hit, your weapon damage becomes more so you can change up your build a little bit if you want to vary it you don't have to stick specifically to this build you might want to take more shields because you want more armor or you might not want to take hardly any shields as I'm doing in this one because you want that weapon damage um, just makes you even more powerful but with the life sustain on it it's 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 crazy you get crazy ridiculous so that's what you do there. You can just build that up. So we're going to be running that rejuve. Our goal is to put to get the power drift in that slot there, that exilus slot, and then we'll have our steel fiber, our continuity. We're going to run there. We're also going to run our rage, as you saw at the beginning, and things like that. <clears throat> you can run streamline if you want to for the efficiency, but I don't. I feel as though, you know, with me swinging around as much as I am, that's not really going to be necessary for me to really worry about the energy because with the amount of stuff you're going to be laying into the grave, you're bound to get energy here or there. If not, <clears throat> you can always get one from your syndicate. So as you're running with your syndicate, uh, I'm not even maxed with my syndicate, but they offered me the ability to get the squad energy restore large. I highly recommend getting that. Um, I believe it's the th second or third level of the Arbiters of Hexus that they give you the option of taking that. Definitely go ahead and take that. It only takes about 60 seconds to build. So yeah, you've got one here. 60 seconds to build, you only need 500 pommel bundles and nanospores, which, fun fact, between the two missions that we did earlier, you're going to get both of those. The survival mission drops quite a bit of polymer bundles, and the uh, grenier defense mission actually drops nanospores, so you'll be able to get both the resources you need for those, and I'm just going to pop another one, it takes uh, 60 seconds to build right there. Just pop them on your warframe, make sure that they're there in your gear you'll be set to go. You can just pop them at the beginning of your mission. And you'll be good to go with it. Now let's see if we go invite only. What is the survivability that we can expect with our low level chroma that we have right now? With only a few mods on it, what could we possibly expect? <clears throat> So ultimately our build is going to be rejuvenation with the excellent slot power drift. We want our flow, continuity, our blind rage, intensify, narrow minded rage on top of the blind rage, the steel fiber and the vitality. So the blind rage is going to give us uh, ability strength. The rage is going to give us energy back every time we get smacked in the face. So I'm going to go over here and start this mission. Hua. While we're just waiting here, we'll just go ahead and pop our energy restore that we just talked about. Pulses four times, giving a hundred energy back each time. So that's another one I definitely, excuse me, I definitely would suggest. So I'm gonna pop my Vex armor right here. You can see the Fury is already going up. 
Like, you see, our health is going down. Channel. There you go. Once. Back to full health. That's the power of this Nakana. Get 10 melee kills. I think I can manage that. Gonna, since we're low level, we don't have too much duration, so we're going to pop a Vex armor back on. Because we're by ourselves, we're going to get swarmed pretty good here, right? We're going to pop our Elements Award. We're just going to slowly make our way through the level. And we see our life support get around the 60 mark. We'll consider uh, actually touching one. Oh, look at that. I'm getting knocked down here a bit. Just keep, make sure to keep an eye on your health while you're going around hacking and slashing. Because unlike with, say, the Harudos, which automatically give you the life steal, you have to actually channel the, this Nakana build to get your life steal. But, I mean, you just see these numbers going off 4k, 5k. Not too bad right now, right? When we really get going there, you'll see some pretty big numbers coming out of this thing. Radiation damage. It would be much bigger if I put the corrosive, that combination of the electric and the, the toxin on, but that's okay. We're gonna pop pop this back on, make sure we have this up as much as we possibly can. Because again, ultimately we're not in here to just kill stuff, we're in here to level, right? So we want to just make sure that we're... using our abilities as much as we can. Boom. Boom. Look at this. We don't even have to worry about the survival part of it because as we're just going through slaying everything in here, they're dropping personal health collections. Haven't even had to touch them. Running low on energy, build one of those large energy restorers. And they come in packs of 10. I don't know if you noticed that earlier or not. Also, you control a little bit. If you see the poison clouds that normally you would stay away from, with God Chrome of the build that we're doing here, I actually run into the poison because it does it'll cause a little bit of damage, and I do mean a little bit on my health, but it'll also give empower my abilities on my sword a little bit more, my melee weapon. Oh no, we're at 250 health. Psych, we're back at 500. Oh, Ash Scorpion helmet just came up as an alert. And you can just see, we're what? We're level 9 right now. Just mauling level 30 enemies. Level 20, 20 plus enemies. Put that, put that back up. Stay around this general area. Gonna use our elements of war. Give us a nice little buff there. Put our Vex armor back up. And we're just going to hack and slash our way through these things. As if it is Thanksgiving card turkey. Seems to be a pretty good spot we found right here for getting mobbed. Put our Vex armor back up. Get our health back. There you go. And you can see why you don't want to hold that efficiency, that uh, channel button for long though. Remember we have that minus 100% efficiency so it's costing us almost double a little over double actually what it would normally take to channel for this weapon but that's okay because we are getting life back so look at this Boop, back to full health in five minutes no problem just gonna drop another Another energy here, just so we can keep us going. Pop our Vex armor. And uh, we're just going to keep ourselves going. This is it, guys. This is pretty much what you want to do. You stick with that build that we have from earlier. Try and get the mods uh, that are recommended here. And you have yourself a... God Chroma. If you want to want to substitute anything, you could, if you want to, you can substitute the Steel Fiber. I wouldn't recommend it. Or you can substitute the Vitality for a Redirection if you wish. That would probably be more where I would lean to. If you want to be more focused in on the more on the um, the armor aspect of the Vex armor, I'm a little bit more towards the actual attack damage, so I'll be able to 
survive and keep going. You need to get some help out here. And there you go. And just keep it running. Run it! Run it! And that's all there is to it. So guys, we appreciate you uh, watching the video. You guys over on YouTube watching us, we appreciate you checking it out. We're going to be running through a bunch of really good builds, as I call them, God builds, for various... various frames on Warframe here so you can try and maximize and get the most out of what you can. There's usually frames that specialize in almost everything. Chroma just specializes in, you know, being a god. So perhaps next time we'll look at either Valkyrie or we'll look at Ember to see what we can do to really maximize their potential, alright? I'm level 10 now so I'll just take this moment before I leave to show you exactly why you don't use your ult. So you pop your ult and just wash the energy. Oh my god, it hurts. It actually hurts to see this. With no efficiency, my energy is just being shredded. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright. This has been a Saltbox video. Thanks for watching.